focus is going to be actually just on our hips. Um, so what I've tried to be doing the last couple of weeks is that we do one week where we do both and then the two weeks in between that we focus on the shoulders and then focus on the hips just because 25 minutes isn't a long enough time really to go deep in any particular area of the body let alone try and do, do to do two areas in one go. So um, if you just come, we'll start standing up um, and we'll start with, we will start with a bit of shoulder mobility just so that you feel like you've had a little bit of it. So come to the centre of your mat, grab a hold of your strap. Um, you can do just arm circles if you don't have a strap at home. And we're going to take a hold of the strap at one end and then find a wide-ish kind of grip at the other end. Standing with your feet just slightly wider maybe than hip distance apart, you're just going to inhale as you lift that strap all the way up and over, tap it behind you exhale and then come all the way back through, tap it in front. We're going to do 10 of those just to start. Just opening up the shoulders and the chest. And if you find that as you're going through these, it starts to become a little less challenging, you can shuffle your hand along one end of the strap and narrow your grip slightly. This is always quite a good one to do if you're sat at the desk all day or you do a lot of overhead stuff or you're just generally hunched, it opens up the chest, the thoracic spine, it gets the shoulders moving, improves your range of motion, relieves any aches and pains. We'll go for one more each way, so last one. And then you can just release your hands from the strap and find yourself in Uttanasana four folds. So think about Hinging at the hips, finding that length first, and then bending the knees, drawing the chest over the thighs, crown of the head towards the floor, opposite hand to opposite elbow, and you can just gently rock from side to side, bounce up and down, whatever you need to do to just get into the hips, the glutes, and the lower back. Take a couple of deep breaths. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale, release your hands to the floor. Walk your feet all the way back to your down facing dog position. Spread the fingers, press the head through the arms. Pull those shoulder blades apart so you have a nice broad upper back and your head is released or your neck is released from your shoulders. Think about lengthening through, so soften the knees first. Lengthen through the tailbone so you find a nice long lengthy spine. And then begin to ease heel by heel down to the floor, pedaling alternately through those legs, opening up your ankles, your feet, stretching off the cuffs, the hamstrings, and mobilizing the hips. Take a few deep breaths. And then from here, we're going to take the right foot outside of the right hand, finding yourself in a nice lizard lunge. So you can drop the knee to the floor or keep it lifted, whichever you prefer. Inhale to lift and twist with your right hand up towards the ceiling and then exhale as you reach with your elbow to the floor. Don't worry if you can't touch the floor. We're going to do five on the right side. Just opening up that hip and that groin. Three, two, last one. One, step back to that down facing dog position and then switch sides. So left foot comes forwards. Knee lifted or on the floor, yogi's choice. Inhale to lift and twist. Exhale, elbow to the floor, tap. Lift to open. So exhale to tap. Inhale to lift. Three, four, last one. Five, replace the hand, step back to down facing dog. Walk the hands all the way to the back of the mat. Find your Uttanasana forward fold once more. Heel toe your feet out to the edges of the mat. Find your squat stance. Inhale as you lift all the way up. Extend it to Dasana, palms together at the top. And then exhale as you come down into that garland pose. So think about having a nice upright torso here first. Then think about heels to the floor and your squat depth. You can just take a moment there to bounce it out. Open up that groin, open up your hips. Take a few deep breaths and then left hand to the floor, inhale to lift and twist, exhale release and then right hand to the floor, inhale to lift and twist, exhale release. Plant the hands on the floor, heel toe the feet back underneath the hips, find your Uttanasana forward fold. 
walk the hands all the way to the front of the mat and then we'll come down all the way to the floor and then inhale as you press up to cobra just open up the front body you can rock from side to side draw a figure of eight with your shoulders and hips and then when you're ready exhale tuck the toes press back to down facing dog walk the feet all the way in towards the hands come back into that Uttanasana forward fold for one last time. Take a few deep breaths, see if you can release off that lower back any further. And then exhale, release the hands to the floor. We're going to step back now into a kneeling position to begin our flow. So come to your um, kneeling position, hands under shoulders, knees under hips, and we're going to begin with five cat cows so you're going to inhale as you dip the stomach look up towards the ceiling squeeze those shoulder blades together and then exhale as you round through the spine pulling the shoulder blades apart and sucking the navel back and up inhale to lift exhale to round inhale to lift exhale to round Inhale to lift, exhale to round, last one, inhale to lift, exhale to round. From here you're just going to take your left foot outside of your left hand, so we're kind of in this narrow kneeling stance. Think about setting yourself up with that knee above the ankle and finding that kind of stretch in the back of the, the thigh in the, in the hamstring there and maybe even into your hip. From here, you're going to take your hand palm facing up, inhale as you reach forwards, and then exhale as you sweep all the way over to the right. Inhale back to centre, exhale to sweep over to the right. So we're going to do three more of those. Last one. Replace the hand and then come back to that hands under um, knees, sorry, that kneeling position and switch sides. So right foot comes forwards again, not too far forwards like a normal lunge, um, but finding that vertical shin, finding that stretch in the back of that hamstring. So really focus on sinking into the groin but pulling the hip back slightly as well so you can feel it. And then again, palm facing up with that right hand, inhale to reach forwards. Exhale as you sweep over to the left. So you should feel this in your kind of waist, in your hips, in your lower kind of side area. Three, four, last one, five. Return back to centre and then make your way to a wide leg position. So on your mat, Take the feet out as wide as you can, long ways on your mat, short edges of the mat against long edges of the feet. Find that nice position, think about pressing through all four corners of the feet, so don't go so wide that you're kind of turning in on your ankles. Think about rolling those outer edges down. Think about lengthening through the crown of the head, and then inhale as you lift the arms up above the head, exhale as you hinge at the hips, coming all the way down into that wide leg forward fold. Hands come to the floor, think about sending your tailbone high towards the sky, Crown of the head towards the floor and just take three deep breaths. With every exhale, see if you can sink a little bit deeper, get the crown of your head maybe a little bit closer to the floor. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale and then walk the hands all the way over to the left foot and you're gonna come down into your ninja squat. So if you want to, you can just slide all the way over or you can come up, over and down, whatever you prefer. With your ninja squat, you're gonna try and sink over that left heel, keeping it to the floor. And then if you want to, you can flex that right foot back up towards you or you can try and roll the outer edge over onto the ground to really work into the ankles and the feet as well. From here, reach with your nose towards your toes and then fingers, if you can, around that big toe. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. You should feel a big stretch on your inner thigh. Exhale, one deep breath all the way in. 
Exhale, walk the hands all the way to the front of the mat or frame that left foot, basically. Um, so hopefully that's the front of your mat. <laughs> and come into a nice low lunge. So dropping that back knee to the floor, reaching forwards with the heart. So really think about extending and sending that heart forwards and finding that stretch in that right hip flexor. Take a nice deep breath in as you roll those shoulders back and down. Two more deep breaths. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale, plant the hands on the floor. And as we exhale again, whoops, sorry, inhale to lift the knee off the floor. And then exhale as you swing that leg all the way back into down facing dog. So we're coming into a three leg down facing dog, swinging the left leg back and up and bending at the knee. Just take a small hip twist, you can play with it. Open up that side body, open up the hip. See how far mobility allows you to go. And then we're going to swing that leg back through and under coming into pigeon pose. So sliding the left leg forwards, bringing it forwards at a 45 degree angle, bending at the knee, sliding the right leg back, finding a nice level hip position. So if you need to, you can always support that left bum cheek with a block or pillow, but your aim here is to keep your hips nice and level, sit bone to floor, hip bone to heel, press into the ground with your hands, lift up and out of your pelvis as you find that stretch in the left, or sorry, the right hip flexor. Take a nice deep breath all the way in, and as you exhale, melt forwards over that left leg, and take three deep breaths. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then slowly come all the way up, hands under shoulders, step back to down facing dog, pedal it out. And then we're coming back into that wide leg forward fold. So standing straight up again, finding that wide leg position on your mat with the long, so you're going long ways along the mat now. Feet are pressing down again, firmly into the ground. So that same setup with the feet. You're going to inhale to find that length and then exhale as you hinge forwards. But this time with the hands, instead of placing them in the middle, we're gonna take them out to the toes. So hooking your two fingers around your big toes, you're then gonna use that as your pull to pull you down deeper into this position. If you can't reach your toes, don't worry. Just pull from the outside, grab your calves, your thighs, pull yourself down that way, wherever you need to go. Take three deep breaths. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then we're coming back into that ninja squat now on the other side. So walking the hands over or lifting up and over as you come into that ninja squat. Sitting over that right leg this time and reaching with your nose towards your toes for that left um, foot. See if you can keep pressing down on that outside edge of the foot and see if you can try and keep that heel, try as you may, glued to the floor. Take three deep breaths. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale, walk the hands all the way to the right foot now, coming into your low lunge position, dropping that back knee to the floor, reaching the heart forwards and finding that stretch in the left hip flexor. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale. One more deep breath all the way in again. Exhale. From here, plant the hands on the floor. Lift the right uh, left knee off the floor and then send that right leg back and up into three leg down facing dog. Bend at the knee, find that hip twist, play with it, limber it. And then we're coming into pigeon pose. So swinging that leg all the way through, bringing the knee to the front corner of the mat at a 45 degree angle. Left leg slides back, finding that nice le level hip position using a block or a pillow if you need to, and then pressing into the ground, lifting up through the pelvis, finding that stretch in the left hip flexor, exhale as you melt forwards over that right leg. Three deep breaths. Last deep 
Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then slowly bring yourself all the way back up. Step back to down facing dog. I'm going to twizzle back around the other way. And then we're going to come into our balance section. So stepping through with your left foot into a low lunge position, finding yourself set up. And when you're ready, inhale to lift that back knee off the floor, brace yourself, and we're gonna shoot into warrior three. So you're going to inhale to lift, finding your balance through that standing leg, coming into that warrior three position. So your body is parallel to the floor and you're balancing on one leg. Hold for three, two, one, then we're going to bring palms together, hands to heart, lift all the way up, try and keep that leg off the floor and swing that ankle over that left knee and sit back into crouching tiger pose. Find something steady to focus on to help your balance. Take three, two, one, and then from here you're going to try and go into half moon. So you're going to lift up, all the way up and then twizzle out to the side, opening up into that twinkle, twinkle, little star position. Hold for three, two, one, and then inhale as you come all the way up around that right foot. Sit back as you exhale into chair pose. Hold for three, two, one. Exhale, release. We're gonna step back into that high lunge with the right foot forwards this time and repeat on the other side. So reaching the heart forwards, Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale, and then when you're ready, inhale to lift and shoot. Warrior three on the right side. Hold for three, two, one. Then palms together, hands to heart. Left ankle comes over right knee. Sit back into your crouching tiger. Hold for three, two, one. Inhale to lift. Exhale as you open and lower into that twinkle, twinkle, half moon star pose. Hold for three, two, one. And then last one, come all the way up and through. Ground that left foot and sit back into chair. Hold for three, two, one. Inhale to lift, exhale to fold. As we make our way all the way down to the floor again, coming into your Uttanasana. Uh, forward fold. Take a nice deep breath in, exhale, fold deeper and then slowly walk your feet all the way to the back of the mat. Coming into down facing dog, pedal out the feet and then we're going to come down into our kneeling position on the mat and finding, um, oh sorry I've missed, missed one out. So we're going to come into crescent lunge as a progression. We've just opened you all up for crescent lunge. So coming into crescent lunge, take a moment there in a kneeling position while I demonstrate. You're going to take your left foot forwards and then you're going to drop your back knee to the floor so you're in this nice low lunge position. You're going to inhale as you lift your hands up above the head, interlace the fingers and create a Charlie's Angel finger. So shoot the hands up. As you exhale, see if you can lift through the heart and send the hips forwards as you come back into a back bend. Take it as far as you need to go and then inhale to come all the way back up. So all together now, we'll set ourselves up in that nice low lunge position. With the left foot forwards, right knee to the floor. Inhale to lift, reaching up high with the hands. Find those Charlie, Charlie's Angels fingers. Reach up tall, think about lifting through that heart first. Find space in the pelvis and then exhaling as you shoot back. Inhale to lift back up. Exhale, release the hands to the floor. Step back. To down facing dog and then we're going to repeat on the other side so right foot comes through left knee goes to the floor finding that low lunge position remember if you need to take a slightly wider stance to help steady your balance and then inhale to lift reaching up tall finding that space in that pelvis area charlie's angels fingers and then inhale to lift exhale as you fold back inhale to lift again Exhale to release, and then we'll step back to down facing dog. Pedal out the feet, and then come down onto your knees. Take your knees out slightly wider, feet together at the back, and sit back for a wide leg child pose variation. Forehead to the floor, take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale, two more deep breaths just like that. 
Exhale. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then slowly come all the way up onto your hands and knees. Swivel your legs around and come into a seated position. So we're going to come into mariachi pose. So taking the left leg out long, bringing that right foot in towards that right heel. Your option here is to just simply hug that knee into the chest if mobility doesn't allow you to go any further. Focusing on keeping that left leg straight and toes flexed back towards you. If you want to try and go further, we're going to take the shoulder through the inside of the thigh and then try and wrap the arm around the leg and then reach behind with the other arm and take a bind. So keeping that left leg flexed and extended, tucking that right leg right up into our armpit and reaching around to bind. Hold for three, two, one, exhale, release, and then switch sides. So right leg goes long, left leg comes in, setting yourself up again, flexing those toes back towards you and then really reaching through first and then hooking that arm around and seeing if you can take that bind. Hold for three, two, one. You can probably feel that stretch nicely across the back of the shoulders as well as in the hips. From here, we're going to take seated butterflies. So soles of the feet together, hold them like you would hold a book. So thumbs on the insides of your arches, shuffle your, um, self in towards the heels so bring the heels in towards your groin and just let your knees kind of pulse out to the side for a few moments you can then use your elbows on your calves or your inner thighs to press the knees down as you inhale to lift and lengthen exhale to fold reaching nose for your toes and we're just going to stay here for three deep breaths breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale, release. So taking the legs back together now, you're gonna take the right ankle, placing it over the left knee, and the left foot goes out in front of you. From here, just slide yourself in towards your heels, or slide your bum in towards your heels, reaching your chest towards your shin. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale. One more deep breath all the way in. Exhale, slowly unravel yourself and switch sides. So left leg goes over right, crossing at the ankle over the knee, sliding yourself in, shin to chest, reaching up high. And again, two or three deep breaths here. and then slowly extend the leg as you come out of that pose and slide yourself now onto your backs for our final pose of the day. So we're gonna bring our knees up in towards our chest, hug them first with both arms, rock from side to side, massage the lower back, and then take the hands out wide, palms facing down, and we're going to drop the knees all the way over to the left, and then inhale to look and twist with the head towards the right. Try and keep those shoulders glued to the ground. If you want to, you can press down on the outer thigh or extend that top leg. Take three or so deep breaths. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then inhale as you lift your knees and head back to centre, exhale as you drop your knees all the way over to the right, inhale as you lift and twist your head towards the left. Again, you can press down on that outer thigh or extend that top leg, yogi's choice. Just make sure those shoulders remain glued to the floor and take three or so deep breaths. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then inhale as you bring those knees all the way back to centre. Hug them in with both arms. You can lift your nose to knees a few times. 
just to release off the lower back and then slowly whenever you're ready just make your way all the way up to seated and join me in the center of the mat for one final deep inhale as we lift our arms up above our head palms together at the top as we exhale to the forehead kind thoughts to the lips kind words to the heart kind feelings namaste